This ordinary athletic field was once the cradle of U.S. Army aviation research. Following the pioneering footsteps of the Wright brothers, the United States Army established McCook Field in Dayton, Ohio, as home to its Aircraft Engineering Division. This research division would ultimately become the Air Force Research Laboratory. Countless tests on materials, engines, airframes, munitions, and instruments were conducted here. And from 1918 to the mid-1920s, over 2,400 technical reports were created from the research directed by the engineers at McCook. Less than a decade after breaking ground, the McCook facilities were disassembled and moved to Wright Field, the modern-day location of the Air Force Research Laboratory headquarters and four of its technology directorates. AFRL traces its roots to the visions of early pioneers who understood that research is the key to air supremacy. Through the early decades of aerospace research and development, the Air Force laboratory system grew into 13 different labs in various locations throughout the U.S. and an air development center in Rome, New York. In 1990, the Air Force consolidated the existing labs into four super labs, Wright, Phillips, Rome, and Armstrong. Then, in October of 1997, on the 80th anniversary of the founding of McCook Field, these labs were merged to form one unified lab, the Air Force Research Laboratory, which today consists of nine technology directorates, the 711th Human Performance Wing, the Air Force Office of Scientific Research, Aerospace Systems, Directed Energy, Information, Space Vehicles, Materials and Manufacturing, Munitions, and sensors. The Air Force Research Laboratory is solely responsible for the research and development that keeps the United States Air Force the best in the world. Every groundbreaking Air Force technology is generated by the scientists, engineers, and support staff in AFRL, whose collective genius and hard work keep over half a million Air Force personnel on the cutting edge. The Air Force Research Lab does uh, many things uh, for the Air Force. And I feel one of the most important is being able to stay at the bleeding edge of technology development. The next generation of warfighter will be armed with laptops. What I do is equip each of them in their own way and give them technology to help make their missions more successful. My job uh, helps the warfighter have better sensing capabilities, especially in the optical regime and IR detection. These technologies are paramount to the survivability of our warfighter. Uh, whether they want to be able to call them medical evacuation, these communication systems have to be very reliable in order for them to execute the mission. The warfighter, we get to take this technology, we get to come up with solutions that matter and make a difference. When I wake up and I go to work, the problems that I solve and the technologies that I work on could potentially save soldiers' lives. Today, a century after the birth of U.S. military aviation research, Airmen turn to AFRL when an urgent battlefield requirement is identified, and it is AFRL they count on to develop the technologies that will be needed 10, 20, 30, even 40 years from now. Powered by airmen, fueled by innovation, the Air Force Research Laboratory provides unflagging support for the United States Air Force and its mission to fly, fight, and win. <laughs>